Hey everybody, Standing Ovation here again with another break. And I'm looking forward to this one because I got a box of the new 2022, I guess, SP Signature Editions Legends Hockey. This has got uh, nothing for rookie content. It's all about veteran players. And I think everybody knows by now. It's like I'm late to the game on this. It came out over a week ago. I was off sick for a week and uh, I, I always have a lot of my videos preloaded. So I, I'm going to have to bump the order and put out this one in there because... It came out and uh, and I, yeah, I missed the boat. I really did because I only got the one box and I kind of wish I got more than the one. But then again, for the price point, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a gamble. Like all, all hockey cards these days seem to be a gamble. Heck, like I say, the cup, we just got past that one. The biggest gamble of all. I don't know. Like I say, this was 300 bucks Canadian plus tax. Uh, you get two autographs, likely going to get one good veteran uh, recognizable name and perhaps one not so recognizable name well it depends how much of a hockey fan you are because if you're as old as me you remember all these guys and definitely they're not all legends there's a lot of hmm, a lot of guys in here that are just sort of ham and eggers maybe had some long games long good good points in their career but uh legends is kind of a term they just threw at us here and uh yeah but there are definitely legends in this stuff you got a chance of hitting Gretzky autos, the new autos. I mean, there's there's sticker autos of Howe and some of the greats. Um, I'm not sure if Richard's in here. Belleville, I think, is in here. But we'll see. It's the future watch uh, veterans or legends, all-time future watch that everybody seems to be after. And uh, I hope I get a good one. But we'll see. I'm not expecting any great, amazing hits. But I'll be surprised and happy if something comes up. I, I've watched a lot of these boxes getting broke down and as I said it gave me pause to think well at least there is one bright side of being off sec because I got a chance to second guess my decision on this and to say I was first thinking oh darn I wish I got more but now I'm thinking you know what this is again another one of those products it's hit or miss so should I mix them up no it's just leave them who cares um yeah let's see if you can see anything better there before I rip it down and yeah again a lure came out the same day i didn't get any of the allure either so i might end up going back and checking that product out but eh, i'm not a big allure fan i like opg platinum allure's kind of like i don't know like select or something I, I don't know i just i'm not a big fan of the allure i like the design this year though a little bit better than other years so maybe well, that'll happen in another video but let's see what this is all about i'm really looking forward to these old timers old school hockey back in the day like you know the the aughts in the 90s mike sillinger of course there's some old guys in here too like who the heck is that how did he get in here you're gonna hit cards like this too like sure why not george Lorac, the old bruiser actually he's a color man for uh, in quebec now i believe actually he was quite uh quite fun to watch so there you go but full portraits like that's kind of a weird picture of a a guy that, uh, he's pretty smiley there, but you wouldn't want to seen him on him, and he's not so happy. Okay, Makita, Dave Brown, and Dean Kennedy. See, like, Dean Kennedy, the legend, Dean Kennedy, and the legend, Dave Brown, with the legend, Stan Makita. So, kind of like a Chronicles checklist, maybe? Just, uh, veterans and retired stars, maybe? SP, like, signature, yeah, they should just call it SP... Signature retired edition with some legend. Yeah, whatever. Stu Burns. Stu Burns. A lot of fan favorites. I guess that's the way of looking at it. Ben Lovejoy. Sean Chambers. I like the old mini North Stars in here. Throw them. You got Atlanta Thrashers in here. There's a guy. Old legend, Howie Morenz. Let's check the back of that one out. We got some. Full career stats, cool. Played back in the day, that's for sure. Look at the plus minus. They didn't care about it back then. They did not care. Sean Chambers. And Donnie Edwards. Gold script parallel, I guess you call them. The gold SB. They're like a facsimile auto. Kind of remind me of MVP. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, two autos in the box. May contain time-sensitive redemptions. Well, we'll see. 
We'll see. Again, I haven't watched a ton of this open. I, I watched release day breaks, and I participated in a group break, I believe. Might have hit something, but I, I, I know I didn't get anything great. I was actually, that was the first day I was coming down with a cold, so I really didn't pay much attention to anything that day other than my pillow. Mason Raymond. Brett Hall. Harry Howell. John Shabbat. And, oh, let me watch my light on the side. Very sensitive light. Okay, well, we'll do this one in the dark. Dark reveal. It's a canvas. Retired stars. Stephen Reinpracht. With the Stanley Cup logo flying in the background behind him. It's like he threw it over his shoulder. It's kind of a funny picture. This is a cool set, though. It'd be nice to be able to go for it all, but at $300 a box, I mean, I'm not going to break $300 boxes to build a canvas set. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure some people are going to be determined because it really does have some of the best photography in the set. Let's fix my light here. Hold on. Let me get my technical department out. I'm going to get a better extension cord. Or how about a whole better light? Oh my gosh. Don't make me pause. There we go. Back to having some soft light here on the corner. Let me get this better set up. I can't. The cord's too short. Okay, well, let's carry on with it. It's looking for my first auto. But I think you get two number hits in a box, too. So two number hits, perhaps? Is that what it is? I'm just making that up. I should read the box a little bit more myself. Trevor Latowski. Steve Vickers. Norm Ullman. A couple of old-timers there. Cujo. Curtis Joseph with the Oilers. Cool card. And we've got dominant digits, Martin St. Louis. Number 26. Cool cards. And pack number five. Mambo number five. Josh Georges. Looks like I got another canvas in there, I think. Anders Hedberg. Dickie Duff. Chris Mason with the canvas brodeur right on. That's right. I hit Jersey in that group break, but I didn't hit any good Jersey cards. If I recall, it didn't go so swimmingly. Not as well as that artifacts break that I was in back a few months ago. Wow. Yeah. Check out my items on eBay if you're interested. This is where a lot of these stuff, this stuff will end up. Standing ovations where I go by there. I made a little... Thing there you can send me questions too if you can even read that can you see it no put that down there there you go uh, i set up the domain again it's still not doing much more than acting as an email correspondent spot i'm going to get some stuff up there for sale eventually but like i say i'm having issues with just progress i'm so slow but yeah if you have like i say something you gotta ask a burning question send me a question Hopefully it's card related, because I don't know much about much. But I know a thing or two about a thing or two. There's Robert Cron. Yarko Rutu. Greg Adams. Bunch of Canucks here with all the jerseys. That's kind of funny. Oh, that's uh, Whalers. Just for a second, I thought with the colors, that was a Canucks jersey too. What do we got here? Chris Chelios. And there's the Profiles bounty card i know people are putting this set together that's probably a popular card but i don't know what kind of value they have there's p21 i know there's a lot of people going for that but they may have all finished by now because i'm so slow out the gate card may be kind of useless we'll see that one might get up on ebay pretty quickly i'll try to wait and post the video on the cards at around the same time but i do have a bad habit of posting the cards for sale before the video goes live and then they're all sold by the time people go looking for them on ebay it's happened not thinking ahead. Uh, I see Adam Creighton. we got an Evolve card. I like these, but they are kind of odd because there's some players that went through more than just three teams, but they just put three different photos of three different teams any particular player might have been on. Brad Richards in this case. He's also one of the autoed cards I've seen you can hit in thinking, you know, eh, I'll say that, that might be a good hit, but I wouldn't be happy if I got Brad Richards. So let's hopefully get Somebody, I think I just jinxed myself. I'll get a Brad Richards auto. Anyway, JP, not that I wouldn't be happy with the Brad Richards. I don't know how I'm putting that 
sounding so bad dissing on Richards. I think he's a Stanley Cup winning. Well, he's not a Hall of Famer, but I'm hoping for somebody big, like big, you know. A Broder would be nice in the collection. Sure, why not? Let's dream big. I watched that GT Sports Cards. So I think, first of all, in the very first pack, I think he opened. He had a Sackic Auto. So something like that would be super cool. Kent Menderville. Darren Shannon could be this first one. Senators. That's Paul McLean behind the boards. I guess a coach tribute. Lumley Graves again. Manderville and Shannon. Okay. Well, let's look at the cards twice, if I don't leave. Coach tribute cards, BB7. BB7. What about BB8? Me, me. Okay. Well, let's move along and did I go down one? Yeah, let's just do this. Is it? Let's make this happen. Did it say it was 18 packs? I think it was 18. In a box, not 15. Burridge. Salani Gold. It's a nice hit. Although, I think of him as a jet, not as a duck. I, I don't know why. I don't know how long he played for each team, but I still think of Salani as Winnipeg Jets. Sammy Sallow, Glenn Anderson, and Ray Shepard. See, uh, he played longer with the <laughs> with the Ducks than anybody else. And I stick, like I say, because you know what it is? I met him in 1992 when he was a rookie. And he signed a Beckett Magazine cover for me. And he was really cool. He was at a hockey card show in Toronto. And the Jets were playing the Leafs. And yeah, he was really very approachable and quite a decent player. And very large guy. Anyway, where am I putting that pile up there? Yeah, if I remember, there's a guy set up at that show, too, that was Finnish. And, like, he sat there and talked with him for, like, 10 minutes. And when he had a Beckett, too, because Solani was on the cover that month. And then Solani, like, wrote something in Finnish across the cover of the Beckett. It was, like, a whole story. Uh, wow, I just got his name on it, which I was pretty happy with then, too. Mick Weaver. Of course, I sold that Beckett long ago. I used to sell everything. I never collected much back then. Mike Weaver. Iggy. Gold, oh, let's save it. Tange. Primo. Who is it? What is it? Is it an auto? Okay, it's Mike Sillinger. Hard signed Islanders. Long time player. Again, not a not a huge name, so let's hopefully get the big one next. But you know, we know this could be the highlight of the box. Sorry to all the Islanders fans. Mike Sillinger is, you know, he's he's Mike Sillinger. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It's 300 to pop, it's hard to get excited about hitting a card like that. I'm more excited about that bounty card, I think. And the canvas card of Brodeur. You want an hard sign auto to be the hit of the box, so let's hope the next one in. Let's just keep our fingers and toes crossed. Clint Malarchuk. Chris Terreri. Hal Gill. Dave the Hammer Schultz. Brett Hall numbers, dominant digits. So these can be gold parallels too, I think, and auto parallels, or believe. Whoops. Let's just put all my parallels up there. Inserts. Adam Creighton got a special spot on his own there too. Sorry, man. Canvas, autos, bounties. Yeah. There's Stefan Matteau. Canvas of Commissaric or Commiseric. Commissaric or Commiseric. Hmm. Not sure. Nick and Tropoff, or Antropoff, and Tropoff, Ryan Whitney, and Dirk Graham. Captain Dirk, Mike Commissaric, Commissaric. Hmm. I can't remember. I remember him as a leaf for a short time. Tuomo, Rutu. We got a die cut coming up in here. Chris Joseph, and I know the die cuts could be autoed, but we'll see. Dave Taylor. Darren Flurry and upside down Mario. There he's the right way up now. Mario, look at the hair on him. Imagine that back in the day when he was that young. He was awesome. Too bad he just had a short career. Well, relatively short. He did try to come back. Mr. Pittsburgh. Sid's landlord for a long time. I'm pretty sure Sid has his own house. For a long time, wasn't he the landlord? Tebow, 
Hawk and Lube. One of the long time flames. Bob Carpenter. Joe Sorella. And Brian Prop. Got Eric Belanger. Bobby Clark. Bernie Nichols. Chuck Plant. Whoops. It's cool. Cool. I've seen that picture many times, but it's a cool card to get. Jacques Plant. You know, enter of the goalie mask. Kind of. There it is. Tim Kerr. All-time future watch. Numbered 199. Well, I'm glad I got one of those. All-time future watch auto. Tim Kerr was like a forever Flyers. Big name in Philly. Was not part of the Broad Street Bullies. He was in between those eras. But, uh, yeah, cool. Any Flyers fans out there, check it out on Standing Ovations page on eBay because that sucker is going up there. But I will hold off till at least I post the video because, well, we'll see. I do have a checklist that somebody has sent me and that might get sold. I will see. I'll try not to sell it before I post the video. I'll try. Again, I don't think it's a super high-end card, but I know there'll be a few people looking for it, so one of those ones just tricky. Everybody wants it, but nobody wants it at the same time. Sometimes you get a three-auto box. That would be so cool right now, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with having a Future Watch auto card. Colin Patterson, Hawk on Lube. I wouldn't mind a retired Hall of Fame veteran, though. Wow, that'd be cool. Brian Burrard. Sneed the 1-9 guy. Yeah, Brian Burrard lost an eye playing hockey, if I'm not mistaken. Mario. It's a Mario box. And Slava Kozlov. Number 66. Mario, the dude. Not every box is going to give you big hits, but hopefully there's still two packs left. There is, I, there's always a chance, right? Chris Tamer, Rick Lance, Chris John Rutu, Canvas of Randy McKay, and Daniel Marois. Okay, last pack. Thanks again for watching, folks. Please, if you haven't already, tap that like button. Subscribe. Come on back. Watch other videos. I do try to post them every day, although that's going to break up every other day coming the spring. I'm going to uh, space them out a little bit more so I can take some time off through the summer. But I want to keep them going shooting for that thousand i can't believe i hit 500 thanks to everybody who has subscribed and again if you are subscribing make sure you do it publicly because i'm going to do a giveaway when i hit 1000 everybody who subscribed publicly will get entered into a draw somehow have a video where you start dropping comments or, i don't know i'll figure it out how to do it but i'm just going to get a bunch of blaster boxes because i do all the sports and instead of giving away the pick i'm just going to have like four different blasters from four different sports so the, the winner will get actually four blaster boxes that's how i'm going to do that first giveaway I figure, you know, it's just my appreciation. I, I do appreciate everybody who subscribes. It, it, it's awesome. What we'll get closer as we go. I'm only halfway there. So, again, thanks to everybody who is joining in. Willie Mitchell. Frank Mahovlich. Sergio Momesso. Brooks Orpik. And last hit is upside down. Oh, it's another bounty card. And it's a good one. Profiles. Jagger. Definitely one of the better hits of the box. Again, these are really popular right now, but as the, as time goes on, more and more people will hit that bounty, fill that bounty, and these will be less popular. But, hey, Yager, you never complain hitting him. So, Sillinger and Kerr, not the hugest, hugest legends, but uh, good, good fun there. I don't think there's any serial numbering on the back of any of these cards, so I didn't hit any numbered cards other than the Future Watch. You got the four canvas cards. The Dynagon, or what is it? Oc Decagon. Mario. I don't know why, again, I keep throwing cards to the side here. These are just base. I'll double check my base, but I don't think there was anything spectacular that I overlooked there. Two bounties. Nice hits. Jagger and Iserman. And in the regular hits. Dominant numbers. Mario, Brett, and St. Louis. I got this portraits of Georges Lerac. Hakan Lube. Again, gold. MVP type hit. Solani gold script type of hit. Donnie Edwards gold script with the coach behind the boards and the Evolve Richards. So there we go. Fairly expensive rip. Might 
be able to break even, but I doubt it. We'll see. It was fun. I don't think I'll do another one after all. We'll see if the price comes to a point where I can get it least cheaper than the first one. It might happen again. But I don't think that's happening as this stuff's got up in price since it came out by, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. Thanks for watching again, folks. Standing ovation out.